Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel today. It is Tuesday the 13th of April and today I am vlogging because it is such a lovely day outside. I will be meeting Scott today. We will be going into town because all the shops are finally open which I'm so excited about and as I said before the weather is absolutely gorgeous today hence why I'm wearing probably more like the summery kind of clothes but yeah um, I'm so excited I've got myself ready and dressed I've curled my hair I did actually test out a new curling trick and like if you want to have your more bouncy wavy like and short hair when you curl your hair when you curl your hair with like a curling wand like after you took it off the iron like and like hold your hair up like this and let it drop and do that in false strands of your hair when you curl it and then brush your hair like you normally would and then and then pull your hair back and brush your hair backwards and then you pull your hair forward and it'll make your hair so wavy and so like the bouncy and volumized and oh my god i am obsessed with it i've also gone for like a more darky browny eye look today I've also used like a nude lip colour on my lips and I've put a bit of eyeliner in my waterline as well which I'm really happy about. I really love my makeup today. So yeah, um, and actually yesterday I did actually go and get a coil fitted and if you guys do not know, I have been on the pill, the Regividon or whatever you call it, for around six months and like it is obviously um, the combined pill. I need to have a break on it and oh my god, I was going crazy on it, like, like I was zoning out all the time, and I was so moody, I was emotional, like, all the time, so, like, I'm still taking the, the pill up until, like, I finish the packet in three days, but I got the coil fit yesterday, I decided to go for the non-hormonal coil because I feel as if adding hormones into your body is just making yourself feel worse, for me personally, so... I got the I got the coil fitted at the surgery. For me personally, I did find it a bit painful and afterwards I did go really dizzy and I felt really sick after it. But yeah, and then yesterday for the whole day afterwards, like I was literally in bed with the worst cramp pains ever. Like when I tell you they were the worst cramp pains ever, they were literally like excruciating pains, like literally extremely sore and like if you've ever had a really bad period where your cramps are like the worst thing ever trust me it was 10 times worse than that like oh my god it was awful but today i've woke up i don't really have as much pain today so that's good i've i've only really had one bad cramp but i think it's to do with me not having the kids before and i'm quite a small person and like obviously your cervix has been opened up um, TMI but you know if any of you guys are thinking about getting the coil I would recommend it because the one that I got it doesn't have any hormones so if you do, if you usually do have like you like the periods or like your periods are just kind of average like I would recommend going for that one because like obviously you release this copper so that's a little life update I'm feeling much better today like oh my god it literally I could hardly move because the pains were so bad and I did have a lovely bath which actually did help so yeah but yeah um I've just been taking some photos but I'm not really happy with them does anybody have those days where you'll take photos and you're not really happy with them because like yeah I, I'm not really feeling them today but I'm gonna take some more I usually take them off of that side of my room because that is where I take my Instagram photos but yeah um I will be meeting Scott today we will be going shopping i will be heading straight to primark probably because oh my god it's been closed for ages and obviously they do not sell anything online do they so i want to have a look at what's new in there it's my dad's birthday on sunday so like i have bought him a few presents but i will have to get him something else from tk maxx probably he loves going to tk maxx and getting a fancy pasta and t-shirts and stuff so i might actually find him a t-shirt or something i don't I really need anything for myself to be honest i am trying to save my money as much as i can but it's quite hard when all the shops have opened so hopefully i won't spend too much i'm also expecting a parcel today but well, i'm hoping it arrives today um i'm not going to tell you what it is hopefully it will arrive in today's vlog if you guys don't already please go out and follow my depop it is 
Alice L Holmes. I will be sending some designer items on there, so please head over to there. I do actually have a few headbands on there as well, which you can buy. I actually have one for myself, um, a Dior headband, and like I have one Instagram photo. I will put a photo of, of the photo on the screen now. But here are some of the headbands I'm selling. There's some beautiful Dior ones, a navy one, a pink one. These are currently fifteen pounds, two pound fifty postage. Um, yeah, I will be sending them with Hermes, and like in Hermes, a lot more reliable compared to Royal Mail, I think anyway. And then these gorgeous like Dior tie headbands. I actually have one of these for myself, and oh my god, it's so comfortable to wear, and they literally go with any outfit as well. So that's what I've got on sale at the minute. Um, I am expecting a few handbags to arrive as well, but I'm just kind of waiting on them to be honest because so far. It took 20 days since I ordered them and they still not arrived. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they will arrive within this week. But we'll wait and see, won't we? All the restrictions are slowly easing as well. So I'm really happy about that because honestly, who else has found lockdown so boring? Like literally I have, like it's been the worst. Also, I have a couple of bunch of flowers I've got. The smaller bunch is basically from like the leftover flowers for his cakes because if you guys you do not know already, he's just, have, he's just having an amazing cake business. He actually bought me these gorgeous tulips for Easter. And I'll just show you them on the back camera because they are really, really good. Like, I love them. How gorgeous are these? Obviously, a few of them are dying, I am aware. Like, a few of them are drooping. Oh, my God. What is going Oh, okay. Well, okay. That's really sad. But, yeah. Um... I've had these for like a little longer and a few of them are dying, but oh my god, look how gorgeous I have roses. So these are just tulips and roses in this one. Wow, the colours are beautiful. And then in here, I have some roses and oh, what are these called again? I forgot what these are called, but they're really pretty. I love them. But yes, yeah, so there, I'm a flowers. Outfit of the day boy suit. He's from Pretty Little Thing. A red slinky one. I think I've had this for like a couple of years and haven't worn it in a while, so I thought I'd wear it today. I have my Sarah jeans on, a black pair because girls need a black pair of jeans in my life, my Gucci belt, and yeah, and I use my Barbara's hair curlers and my salon hairspray as well to keep my hair in place. But yeah, here it is, and I love it a lot. I'm kind of thinking of filming a YouTube video because I do kind of have a busy week. Um, tomorrow I'm going into work to clean up. Um, to prepare for opening in May um, and on Thursday I will be going to Scott's house to do some baking and stuff and I'll, I'll be staying there till Sunday. I do actually have a hair appointment on Saturday as well so I will be getting my hair cut. Like obviously my hair does look shorter at the minute because I've curled my hair and my hair usually just goes shorter when I curl it. I'm thinking of getting it I'm like up to here actually so that like it's shorter and more easy to deal with. Honestly trust me if any of you guys have long hair, you will be able to relate, but it gets so tight and it takes forever to dry. So, yeah, I am excited to get my hair cut again because it's been a very, very long awaited for the hairdressers to finally be open. Like, honestly, trust me. But anyway, I think I'm going to try and film video if I can. I'm also going to try and make my bed because it is a mess. I'm aware. I'm also going to go and clean my tan mitt. And then after that, I'm gonna have some lunch, and then hopefully, I'll be reun and hopefully I will be reunited with Scott. So, positive times, happy times. My lovely lunch for today: the beans and potato waffles. I always add a bit of pepper on the beans to add a bit more flavour to them. But yeah, this is just like a very easy meal to make. I put the waffles in the toaster. On the frozen setting. Here's our food. Oh, yeah. Hot dogs yeah. and our yeah. chips. You ready? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> so we're parked outside the house. I'm with Scott still, obviously. We had a lovely meal at the pub. But basically, yeah, they were just offering like hot dogs and like and chips and stuff. And make it sound better than that. It, it, it was really good stuff though. And um, like the fully loaded chips and stuff and like and hot mm. dogs with like mac and cheese on and. They actually made the hot dogs themselves. Yeah, so nice. Oh, oh. Then I'm stuffed. Yeah. I wanted to be here, but I couldn't have a beer because I was dying. And, and I, I asked for a tonic and I panicked. She put you in it. <laughs> she wouldn't know. Um, about our makeup has, has lasted. I'm surprised the eyeliner hasn't, um, like, it came from Waterline. 
Oh, you've been crying loads. I haven't been crying loads. <laughs> yeah. I think we've had a lovely day shopping. We've been having five yeah. hours. I spent bloody. I've spent 100 quid. <laughs> I know, but. But to be fair. Nothing. Some of them were like a few months' birthday because it is a birthday soon. I um, know, it's Louise's birthday. I did spend a bit of money in Primark. I will be doing a Primark haul soon ish. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged as much in town, but the town was absolutely packed, wasn't it? And I feel awkward with vlogging like in my hometown usually. I think it's because, in case I'm like, I see people who I know and think, why the hell is she talking to herself on the camera? But <laughs> yeah. It's fun. We were just carrying on though, weren't we? We were getting on with the Yeah, day. yeah, we were. Went in Hotel Chocolat because we thought we were going to get a taste and they stopped. Yeah, stopped well, too to Covid, but we did buy some chocolates from there, didn't we? Half price. Half price chocolates. Yeah. Fun. I'm tired though. I'm really tired. I think I'm gonna, when I get in, I'm just going to sleep. All I did last night when I got in was sit in my bed in the dark. Mm. I knocked my lamp off and I was watching on YouTube. Oh. He's a true supporter, guys. For once. I know. To be fair, you're usually busy with cakes and stuff, aren't you? So. Yeah, or it's a vlog that we've done together. Yeah. And I've been there. Yeah, that's true. But, update on the cramping. I have had a little bit of cramping today, but nowhere near as bad as yesterday. Because, oh my God, the cramping yesterday was absolutely awful. I think I usually get it where I need food, so like, I like a reminder to eat food, which is kind of good, I suppose. Maybe just hunger pains. <laughs> yeah, if any of you girls wanting to think about getting the coil, definitely go for it. Um, it may be a bit painful, but it'll be painful for like, really like a few hours afterwards, like I did with me, but yeah, um, it all depends on, on the person. And some people don't have any pain, like at all. They really are any cramping and stuff, so. It just depends, doesn't it, really? Yeah. You're okay? Just tired. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. But yeah. I need my milk. <laughs> and be sent to bed. Put in my bed. And tuck, put a nappy on you. Tucked in. <laughs> bedtime story. Honestly, if someone think the bedtime story now, I'll put some nice music on, I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> oh. Are you sure there wasn't gin in there? There wasn't any gin in it. Don't worry, but... I've, I've had a nice day with you as well. I've had a lovely day. Um, I kind of want to show a few things I've bought. But I'll save everything I bought in Primark for like a haul. I haven't bought a lot in Primark. I've probably only spent £26. But like, I'll make exactly. a haul out of it. Like, I bet um, all the YouTubers like are posting the Primark hauls on, on, on the YouTube channels. I bet you. If Primark did delivery... Oh my god. Yeah. They'd be on overload. <laughs> I think one day they will. No. I think it, it, the reason why they've been able to be so successful is because they've not they went online. Not you don't bother going in the shop if you can't. If you, if yeah, you can go online, you don't exactly. bother going in the shop. Well, if you're sold out online and you really want it, then fair enough. But I'm yeah. Sorry, okay. All I'll shops are really busy though. But yeah, um, I will see you all in the house probably. And I'll see you all another day. Yeah, you will. Nice to see you. <laughs> so, everybody, I'm back home now. I apologise greatly for the bad lighting. Um, my curtains are currently closed. I was, I was about to try on a few things I got from Primark, but I realised I've not vlogged in a little while. So, I'm just going to show you what I kind of bought for my dad's birthday um, and things for myself excluding the Primark the things because I will be doing the Primark haul so it's my dad's birthday on Sunday as I'm filming this so he probably would have he probably would have already been his birthday when this video is out but I'd already got him some ales and some chocolate but he loves going into TK Maxx and getting the t-shirts and everything so I've got him an Alessi t-shirt. I like this t-shirt because like, it's colourful and um, the arms and the neck are a different colour compared to the rest of the t-shirt. It's Alessi in a size large. I got, this, I got this for £15 for my dad. So that's what I got him for his birthday. I got him 
There's some fancy pasta here because he loves the pasta from TK Maxx. And this is two forty nine. They kind of look like mini pumpkins, like blue, yellow, orange, and red kind of colours. And then finally for him, I went into Hotel Chocolat, and then you have um, like a massive discount, like on a lot of the chocolate, you know, fifty percent off. So I bought him these fudge sundae and chocolates they've got the sticky toffee in them so if here's or not and milk in them and you like those i bought us 159 and then for me i did buy myself some hotel chocolate chocolates as well oh it has a little hair on it and these are the fruity collections so like it basically has blueberry smoothie it's got a raspberry smoothie strawberry smoothie and they were 154 I think as well, but the things from Primark, I'm saving for a haul, obviously. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try on a few clothing items now, um, and then, yeah, but it's still really light outside, which I'm kind of happy about. But like, honestly, I really enjoyed going into town today. It was so nice to see town busy again and everything, and I'm finally be able to go into Primark as well, which has been long awaited. Trust me, like, oh my god, it's been very long awaited but i'm gonna try all my clothes on now because i am excited to see how everything looks on me so yeah right everybody as you can tell my head looks shiny as hell <laughs> oh my god it's my skin guys do not worry um but it's now time to wrap my dad's prints up so i bought him a bar of cadbury for a nut Six ales from Asda. He likes his ales. <laughs> um, obviously, I've shown you guys the pasta and chocolate and t-shirt. And I'm going to wrap it up with this lovely paper. I will be using that to wrap them up. So I'm going to wrap. I will be going to wrap everything up. So I'll have to make space for it. And um, also, this ottoman is now the place to put. The stuff on top of it it's actually from home bargains with 50 pounds in case you're wondering like i, I actually have a chair of this the front donnell and i bought it to match a chair pretty much but yeah i love this ottoman and i keep all of my designer handbags in there but yeah i'm gonna go on with the wrapping paper and i'll catch you all up when that is done i've actually put you all on a time lapse so I'm just gonna see how I can do this because the way it's actually a bit caught up. But yeah, I'm gonna do this now for you all. Right, everybody. So all the presents are now wrapped finally. And I've just tried one of these chocolates I did have the blueberry one. Oh my god, it absolutely tastes unreal. Hotel chocolate chocolate is beautiful. But um I'm gonna take these evenings out because they're absolutely kidding me. Like as beautiful as they are, it personally for me, the Vivian the Westwood earrings can be a bit like heavy to wear, like after a long time. It's understandable that like as they are. It, the weighty earrings and I do have smaller ears <laughs> like yeah, my ears are this big look my ears are tiny like it, yeah it's crazy yeah I have small ears but another update on the cramping situation with the coil like I've had a bit of cramping here and there they're not as bad as yesterday but like it's still been quite sore and they're really uncomfortable but it's slowly dying down a bit, which I'm happy about, but yeah, um, yeah, but I'm going to take my makeup off. I, I did actually put a bit of blush on today and I kind of feel the blush look, like it was really nice. I just used a Revolution blusher out of a blush palette, but it's really nice. A tiny bit of pink on my cheek there, it's really pretty, but yeah, um, I am going to end this vlog here because, like, honestly... I will be chilling for the rest of the night. I think I will actually do some editing. Oh my god, why won't my phone just stay in one position? Hello, wait a minute. Yeah, um, 
I am going to end this vlog here just because I will be editing a video. I do have a lot of videos planned for April. Um, I'm going to try and film as much as I can before I go back to work because obviously I go to college from like a Monday to Thursday kind of thing and then I will and then I will be going to work from like Friday to Sunday when I go back in May so April is the month where I it will be keeping motivated guys honestly trust me on that one it will be happening I will be keeping myself motivated um also update on my stutter um it is slowly going which I'm kind of happy about I have my good days, I have my bad days, but I seem to be talking a lot better, which I'm really, really, really happy about. Like, I feel as if things are starting to look up, like restrictions are easing, I'm talking better, I've had the coil done, which is probably like a big achievement for me because, like, I think like you're going to like a surgery and you're getting anything done it's a big achievement you know what i mean um so yeah and primark is open and i might just spend a bit of money it's not a big achievement as well but um yeah i am going to end this vlog here i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog please 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 leave a thumbs up on this video because it actually does really help my channel out and videos get noticed by more people and the more people who like the video the higher chance it'll be able to get onto the recommended page so please leave a thumbs up also leave a comment if you would like to even if, even if it is a little heart emoji or something you know i want to know that you guys have enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel because i would love to get to 5000 subscribers like i've been i wanted to hit that goal for the longest time i'm sure you guys are so fed up of me who want in to hit 4,000 subscribers and honestly I really hope I, I do make it to 4,000 by April if not I will not be disheartened but it would be nice to get there so yeah S subscribe and yeah that is it so I'll see you all in my